right up to now, folks, this has really been one of the very best shows we've had from the standpoint of the quality of food. It's just excellent. Nicole Mackey from Snohomish is here to keep this up with broccoli cheese casserole. Where'd you get the recipe for broccoli cheese casserole? Well, I'm originally from Iowa, and so a really popular dish there is oh. with um, a quick cooking rice, um, uh, processed cheese, um, casserole, and it's really very tasty, but I wanted to try to come up with a little bit of a healthier version. I, I use a wild rice that you know, has some fiber in it. I use a natural kojak cheese, and, and um, instead of the cream of uh, chicken soup, I mix the chicken broth and the light sour cream uh, together. This nice, is, this, this is sounds the rice great. You're this talking is beautiful. About, right? mm -hmm. And this, so this is wild rice? Yep, this is wild rice and I combine it with the jasmine rice. Look at right. that, isn't that yeah. beautiful? Wow, that's amazing. And you I cook this ahead rice. before it goes into the casserole. Yeah, it's pre-cooked and I usually use um, chicken broth mm -hmm. to, um, to flavor it. Oh, good yeah. idea, mm -hmm. good idea. Yeah. Great idea. I love wild rice. So, I haven't had it since northern Wisconsin. It's been a long time. <laughs> What's the first thing we need to do to get started here? Well, first, um, maybe we could um, spray this with the non-stick cooking spray. Sure. You know, don't need to use any butter or anything like that. And then I was just gonna, I could chop up the broccoli pieces mm -hmm. and kind of, you can, it depends on if you like um, big pieces or small pieces. At my house, we like big pieces of broccoli so we mm -hmm. can really taste it. But so that, that's the first layer, it goes on the bottom. You know, broccoli is one of those foods for some reason that people kind of take an, oh, I don't like broccoli. Mm -hmm. I mean, without tasting it, they, I don't like broccoli. But when you mix it with things like this, it becomes far more palatable to those people who think, oh gosh, I'm not going to like it. Then all of a sudden they find out they do. And it's good for kids too. This is oh, one of my one, favorite dishes. It's wonderful dishes for everybody. When I was a kid. Wonderful for everybody. We may need a little more. Of that okay. And then the next thing I do is the um, chicken. And this is just a rotisserie chicken. I just pull the meat off of that. It's good if you have okay. leftover chicken. So this is a chicken that someone else roasted for you. Yeah. All right. I think that's a wonderful idea. Someone else did the work. But leftover chicken would work just fine. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. a, 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 particularly if you had a breast leftover, or half a breast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't take very much chicken. Oh, that looks wonderful. And so the next thing is the... Um, let's, let's move this up here okay. so we can get our camera a little better shot there. Okay. okay, so instead of using a cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup, I like to use the um, chicken broth and the light sour cream, and it kind of makes it like a creamy What a great soup idea. For the casserole. Well, that's a first, isn't it? Yes. That is a first. And you could even use your own chicken stock if you had mm -hmm. some. Definitely. Yeah. Great chicken stock in the marketplace now. Chicken stock in the in the market? Oh, yes. All right. Yes. All right. That looks great. And then I take about half of this mixture and pour it over here. Okay. Just set that down here because okay. we're going to... You can go back to that, I think. And the next layer is um, your first layer of cheese. So this cheese goes just right on top of here. Mm. Now, what kind of cheeses are you using? Because there's a couple of kinds there, right? Yeah, I use Kojak. Ah. But you can use anything you have on hand. That's what I, I appreciate about this recipe is it's so flexible. If you had a favorite cheese, in other words, you could put that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Something that's going to go with the broccoli. Mm -hmm. So then the next layer is the rice. Okay. Now, this is pre-cooked and... and you just boil this, is that basically how you do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then dry the it, and then drain it. But this, you, you sure can see the, the wild rice in there, too. Mm -hmm. But this recipe is always also really good for, um, in the crock pot, you can just throw all of these ingredients in the crock pot. And then and you don't have to pre-cook the rice, yeah. And put it on a, a slow one, come home, and you got dinner ready. Mm -hmm. nice. about it? All right, <laughs> that works. So George, did you know that wild rice is not really rice? No. It's a grass seed, a kind of a grass seed. Really? Mm-hmm. We cook it like rice and we typically mix it with rice, but it's not really rice at all. Well, now I feel guilty liking it that much. <laughs> Seeds are good for us. So we've got everything we need for an entire meal right here in this one oh, dish. a beautiful meal there. Mm-hmm. Now the second layer of chias. And when you cook this, you can take the, you can cook it at 350 with the lid on or foil over it. But then you can, for the last 10 minutes or so, take the, the lid or the foil off, and it gets nice and bubbly and crispy. Oh, the, the nice. Brown on top. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. And I suppose this is probably mm -hmm. a family 
favorite at your house, mm -hmm. isn't it? So this is ready for the oven? Mm -hmm. All right. Away we go. Now, how long in, in a hot temperature, light temperature? About 350 for about an hour. Moderate oven. Yeah, yeah. and then you can um, turn up the temperature and take the lid off for and let browning. it get yeah. bubbly. Great yeah. idea. Yeah. Great idea. Well, you brought a couple of finished products down here with us, and we're going to pull one out of the oven here. Uh, all of our volunteers are very happy you brought all this stuff here, <laughs> by the way. I'm sure, of, I'm sure of that. Voila! Oh, look that at that. That looks amazing. Now, you lay that on the table in front of your family, folks, and you are going to be a real hero. I mean, because <laughs> this is something they don't expect. It's a new taste, something different, and that always makes a difference at the dinner table. Because everybody will want to try it. Ooh, look at that. It's good and with nice onions and garlic, scoop. too, and even... Um, oh, what a great idea. I've made it with chopped up mushrooms before, too. Oh, mushrooms are wonderful in this. Thank you, George. Mmm. If you don't like broccoli, you try this one, <laughs> and then call me up and tell me you still don't like broccoli. You'll like broccoli This is really a lot. terrific. This is wonderful. Yes, indeed. I like good. that little crunch of the wild rice in there. Good enough to have... Gives it a nice have texture. That wild grass seed, you mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, George. Boy, if my uncle had known that in northern Wisconsin, I don't think we would have had any wild rice, but it was really good. Okay, Nicole, thank you so much. This is wonderful. It's really good. Thank you. You want something different? You want to have something that really app is appetizing for your family? Get the book and try this. You notice that we did put it all together in less than 15 minutes. Now, that doesn't include cooking time, of course, but if you pre-measure it, it really goes together. Yeah, it does. Bang yes, like that. And when time is important, it's important to you. Okay, give us a call, 1-800-443-1999. Get the book and try the recipes and see just how popular you are when you do it. Thank you very much, Nicole. Wonderful.